Have you guys ever like have you guys ever like noticed that when you drive a car in GTA and you turn left, the TV reacts like fucking two seconds later. I turn now. And the car turns like in two minutes after I turn. So that's a little problem I have at the moment. That's maybe because I'm recording this at my girlfriend's apartment or house. I don't fucking care. Okay, so I just want to talk about the cars. I'm not gonna be like any other YouTuber that fucking introduce themselves for like 10 fucking minutes straight and then do what they're supposed to do in like one minute after just to get those 10 fucking minutes. I'm gonna be quick about this, so let's let's just get into it. <clears throat> yeah, the new casino DLC has now arrived, so we got what. Now it's eight new cars and it's 14 cars remaining. So we basically have 14 weeks before and every fucking car has arrived to GTA 5. This is what I got for 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 now. But you might see that I am missing the EC Sport. Well, it's maybe because I don't have enough money to buy it. You might just think that I'm a fucking asshole running around saying I don't have a lot of money. And I have like 7.4 million. It's not 74 million to see up there. Just look a little closer. You'll see it's not that. <clears throat> so. I'm just saving up money for the next car. Which is going to be the Emirates. Or the Gauntlet Classic or whatever. But I don't think I'm going to buy the Gauntlet Classic. But uh, Because I have already seen some of it on YouTube. So it's not going to be that great. So I'm just waiting for the other cars. You might be interested in it. I'm not saying the Gauntlet, the Gauntlet Classic is gonna be shit. I'm just saying that it won't be so competitive. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Yikes. I can talk about these cars for a minute before I start talking about the others. But before I do that, I just want to mention that it's no reason buying supercars for now. Just just do not buy supercars because in a couple of weeks you're gonna be so f so frustrated, angry and all that. Let me say you buy one of these because it's basically the fastest car around the track you can buy for now. Um, and yeah, uh, well the Emirates, if you heard of it, the Emirates and the Krieger is two supercars which is gonna be released in the future and it's gonna demolish the whole entire fucking supercars class let me say the, the Vest 8 I can just bring it up here if you're not that, that good at car names I don't have my PC around so I can't show you any pictures on the fucking screen so yeah he, he, here's the Devest 8 for now it's the fastest car in a straight line for the supercars but it won't be for so long just a couple of weeks and the Emirates is gonna come around. The Emirates is gonna be around 2.7 million. So we got almost the most expensive car already. Uh, this is the most expensive car at the moment. The Taser Act at 2.8 at 2.825 million. Um, it's not gonna last that long either for this car. The Krieger is gonna be, I think it was um, 2,875,000. So not only got, it's that gonna be the most expensive car, it's gonna be the second fastest car around the track and in top speed or first place. Who the fuck knows? But I just wanna mention that the Emirates is gonna be a little bit quicker around the track, I think. If you wanna watch, if you wanna look more closely to that, you can just go on and watch um, Ruffy 1322's video. He explains all of that. So um, I'll just put um, his name down. In the description, so you can go over and see there. Um, I can't link for shit. I got my PlayStation. That's the only thing I can record with right now. I just wanted to make this video really, really quick. So let me just get into the cars that is already here. <clears throat> we can start. We can start with this one, the Obey Drafter. It comes in at seven hundred and fifteen thousand, I think. And uh, for the sports cars class, if you are 
well a racer you want to have the fastest sports car you can get this is nothing for you but from my perspective I, I, I really like this car a lot of customization you can do on it it's fun to drive it sounds nice it looks it looks amazing in my opinion um, so yeah 715,000 wasn't as much as I was expecting this car to be so if you're like a car guy looking for a nice car something nice to put in your garage this is something for you not from a racer's perspective though but I really like this car I'm not gonna sell it anytime soon so yeah this is the <clears throat> I think um, it's, it's, it's actually a new brand who came to GTA just five days ago. It's called Visser. It's based off a Spiker. Um, I don't know which Spiker it's based off. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but I know it's a Spiker. I know it's I know a lot of Spiker cars, but I just forgot their names. Spiker, C, or whatever. whatever. But I always liked spikers because they look so, they look different, they look, look luxurious and fast, I just, and they look so different with these kind of lights and the grill and bodywork, but yeah, um, the Visser Neo, <clears throat> uh, the, the second most expensive sports car you can get right now, it's, um, uh, it's 1.875 million, I thought it was, or 8, 8 point what? yeah, 8.75, so it's almost as expensive as the Itali GTO, which is the second fastest car around the track, and the second fastest around, I mean, the second fastest when it comes to top speed, it's um, 95,000 dollars cheap, uh, more expensive than the Neo. But, um, from a um, perspective, um, like performance wise, this car is really good. It has uh, almost as high top speed as the, um, what the fuck was his name? Sorry for cursing all the time or swearing. Uh, the Schlagen GT. The Schlagen GT is just a um, little bit quicker than this, but just to say, this is a really quick top speed this car has anyways, 125 miles an hour. Um, so it's it's pretty high up there when it comes to top speed for sports cars. I didn't mention it for this one because it doesn't have such a high top speed, but this one does. And it's a really quick around the track as well. I tested it myself and it's just behind the... Um, Raya. Well, I actually sold my Pariah because I, I'm getting sick, but I just don't. So I bought this one instead, and basically because it was a new car, I just wanted to not have it, test it, and I started liking it. But I recommend you don't buy this car. You do not want to drive it. You do, you do not want to buy this car. You don't want to use 1.8 million for this car, then I'd, re I would rather recommend like a um, Italy GTO or Pariah. Reason I'm saying this is because this car is absolutely horrible to drive when it comes to um, uh, a racer's perspective. When I run a track, a lot of bumps. Um, let me just say, if it's a, it's a, it, if, if it is a bump in a corner of a race, high speed, you're gonna fly the fuck out. Believe me. I had so many fucking laps testing this thing. I think I was using about an hour. Well, as I was saying previously that this TV reacts like fucking 10 seconds later after I turn left. I don't want to say it has so much to do with that because I'm kind of used to that now. And I can drive pretty well with this fucking shit going on. When I come back to my house, it's not going to be like that. I can really test the car then. Maybe I can let you know then, but it's no reason for me because you got like a million other YouTubers that can show you this. I just wanted to make this video for you. But anyways, um, uh, if you don't like the Pariah like I do, 
if you absolutely are as disgusted as I am when it comes to the looks and um, oh penis pariah has you can go ahead and buy an Italia GTO because that's not as difficult to drive anymore because Rockstar they removed the handling flags no no sorry they did not remove they didn't remove the handling flags they just what can I say they just nerfed them a little down then hand, hand, the handling flags are not completely gone but they're still there let me just say it that way so you understand so in the end you should not buy this car if you're looking for speed or anything like that but if you're a really good driver like me don't just relax don't hate please if you're a really good driver and you know how to handle um, really bumpy car on a tight road high speed many corners of course go ahead and buy this car because this is a really quick car as well it's it's up at the top it's it's under it's it's with the top five fastest cars sports cars are on track and uh, top speed so it's a really good car I won't say it's worth 1.8 million dollars but yeah that's just what I wanted to say about this car <clears throat> so when you when you're not as interested as I am when it comes to racing and all that you can buy what you can buy all of the shit you want I won't say anything um, I I bought this because I can buy this I have enough fast sports cars and I can buy this as well so if you really like the car if you like how it looks if you like the sound of it like I do then just go ahead and buy it if you have enough and you really like the car go ahead and buy it because I think this is the one of the most beautiful cars I have ever seen in GTA 5 it's almost as beautiful as this this is the whatever this is the this is the tracks this is the the one of the two newest supercars that has been released and come to GTA 5 it was um, it was the car you could win on the spin I bought this because I did never win it so I just bought it uh, and I don't regret it because this is a really really nice car it's nice looking uh, I don't know if you think it's nice looking this is just my opinion nice looking nice to drive all of that <clears throat> but um, it comes in at 2.3 million dollars this was the car you could win um, well my chances weren't so good so I have to buy this car but the facts about it is that it is amongst the top five fastest supercars around when it comes to the track it's not all that great when it comes to top speed it, it only takes 124 miles an hour it's not that quick at all when you compare it to something like a x80 the Vest 8, Banshee 900R, 811 it's many cars this car cannot compete with in a long like, like straight up track with not so many corners this is a really it has great corner ability cornering ability it has great brakes it okay acceleration it's not like a quick car you could use for drag races and such but in from in racing this car is a really nice I would say it's a okay all-rounder it's not a, a, as great all-rounder as the Wagner or the Nero custom because the Wagner and the Nero custom also has a lot of top speed and really good cornering abilities this is a, a better cornering ability than the um, Nero and almost as good as the Wagner so <clears throat> It doesn't have so much downforce. I don't know if that if it has downforce at all. Um, I haven't been. This is just from I have. This is just what from I have been testing. Um, and yeah, it's 
It's a, it's a decent car, the tracks. I, I, I really like the car. So, um, yeah. I, I think, f from my opinion, <clears throat> this is, well, it's the best looking Trifade. It's the best looking Bugatti in the game, in my opinion. It's not because I really like the newest Bugatti, this, whatever its name was. That's not the reason. I just like how this one looks. And when you put a simple modification on it like I've done, it looks really great. So, if you like this car, you buy it. If you're smart and you are racing a lot and don't have so much money, do not think about buying this one. So here we got the Ace SS80R. SS80R, yeah. If it's, uh, is it a Anis SS? Same brand as the RE7B, yes it is. Well, <clears throat> I was suspecting as much. When I first saw this car I was thinking, it might be something with a fucking shit ton of hang handing flags that Rockstar was gonna make us waste money on. But then I bought it myself, tested it around my own track, my own tra test track, which is 7 minutes long. Um, I call it a Nuremberg ring, even though it's not close. But it is just as long as it. So why not? The majority of cars I've been testing here have never done under 7 minutes. The Wagner did 7.2 minutes this one came in and took the living hell out of the Wagner eight seconds faster than the Wagner it has the greatest ability to corner in that entire game just insane it's it's just wow how fast how fast this car actually is around a track like that and the thing with the Nurburgring drag is that it has a long, it has some long straights, but that's many corners as well. But this car still took it under seven minutes. I never thought I was gonna see something like that, a car do my track under seven minutes. And then I just repeatedly play it again and again and again and again and again with the same car to get the best lap out of it. I did that with the Wagner and the SS80R. But this car still got under 7 minutes and in the end it got fucking 7, no, 6 minutes and 56.9 seconds. So it's almost 8 seconds faster than the Wagner around Nürburgring. So this is a insanely fast car when it comes um, to um, cornering and tracks. But the top speed is not that impressive. Its top speed is um, 123 miles an hour, one mile an hour slower than the Trax, and two miles an hour slower than the Neo. And um, I think it's yeah, it's a really slow car when in the, in the supercars class at 123 point 123 miles an hour. So yeah. This is not a um, car for top speed or long, um, long tracks with many straights. It comes at 2.5 million dollars, but as I said before, it's no reason to buy a fucking supercar right now. Because the next car we're gonna get might be the Gauntlet Classic or it's gonna be the fucking Amorous. I mean, the Emrys is... Jesus Christ. It's gonna be... No, man. But, like I said before, this is a really fast car around the track. 6.56 on my track. Um, I can't even say its name. And this is a really... It has a lot of downforce. So you won't be spinning out as much as you would with the tracks. 
And this is, um, it has okay acceleration, it doesn't have the best. This is not a straight line speed car at all. It's just, the cornering ability is just so amazing. But the thing is, the Emirates and the Krieger, which I talked about just a few minutes ago, it has the, those two have the top speed to back it up as well. The Krieger is going to have just as great corner ability as this car, SS80R. Would you imagine at the SS80R with the same cornering ability and a, hop, and a top speed of 100 and 132 miles an hour? Could you imagine that? Yeah, you could because you're going to get it in one or two weeks. Maybe not even one fucking week. It's what? What is it today? Is it uh, Thursday? Yeah, two, two more days and you get even the Gauntlet Classic or the um, the Amorous. One of those. <sighs> Jeez. So there you go, there's the SS80R. Pretty amazing at the moment. This is the Paragon R. Um, another, another sports car. Let me start. If you're still around watching this video, thank you so much. I'd appreciate if you are new, you can subscribe or leave a comment or like the video. It would help me out a lot. Just one like, that's all I'm asking for. Thank you so much. Anyway, the Paragon R, based off a Bentley Continental uh, something. It's been so fucking long since I was reading about cars. It's amazing. I still know a whole lot, but not as much as I used to. So, my apology. And English for that matter. But the Paragon R is a really nice sports car. I'll talk about this later in a second. It's a really nice sports car. It's uh, I think it's in fourth behind the Neo. No, it's be even it's even behind the Isi Sport for fuck's sakes. I think it's in um, sixth or fifth place. I think it's in fifth place. No. God damn it! Yeah, it's behind the Comet SR as well. But I well anyway, it's really close up there. The sports cars class are really close around the tracks right now because the Pariah. Um, we had the Pariah at the first place, Italy GTO. I'm gonna try it. To, I'm gonna test it one more time. I think the Italy GTO is gonna be quicker than the Pariah. Because yeah. It's quicker than the Parai now. I, t I already did the test on the number reading. I just, um, I just remembered. So we have the we have the Italy GTO in first place, the Paria in second place, the Neo, um, the Neo in third place. Then we got the um, Isi Sport. I think. Yeah, the Isi Sport, and then the Comet SR. Then this, the Paragon R. The reason I'd say this is the car to buy is not because it's so damn quick. I'll come to that in a minute. This car is half the price of the Neo. And the Neo is just what, two or three places quicker than this one. And it's not even by much. Just a few tenths of so seconds. So this car is slower around the track than the Neo not as high top speed as the Neo but it's still so easy to drive and it's the car weights it, it the car has a it weights a lot it's a really heavy car uh, it has good acceleration decent acceleration okay top speed great cornering ability it's quick it's difficult for other players to knock you out of the track because they're just gonna fly off by themselves if they try. So this might be the car to buy for you if you don't have so much money, if you are not so... Um, if you're not that experienced when it comes to race but you really wanna race 
and you don't know which car to buy this is the car you should buy because it only costs 900 and something thousand I'll check it out it has um, yeah 905 thousand it has no it has no handing flags I mean all the casino cars has one handing flags uh -huh. one handing flag but I just don't know what it does well it doesn't seem like the handing flag does anything it might have something to do with um, uh, when you take a u-turn you know really slow down the um, I forgot it what what it was called cornering um, something whatever how sharp you can corner a car Jesus it might have something to do with that but I don't know but like I said this is a really nice car for you if you're not that experienced if you don't have that much money then this is a really nice car in the sports class for you not only does it handle well it's quick it's also a really nice car to look at if you like Bentleys like I do this is a really great car for you so yeah 905,000 for a really quick sports car this is even faster than the LG I think whatever I just really recommend this car to you you should buy this car because it's really quick it's quicker than the LG around the track yeah I just remembered and it's fast it has a higher top speed than the major major it has higher top speed than a lot of sports cars do so you'll be really good off if you're driving it against a Italy GTO or a Pariah which is just as good drivers as you are you might be fucked up but you might not because the more practice you do with this car the better and quicker you're gonna be so the Paragon Armored then you can get this car only if you do all the casino missions I know they're hard but if you wanna get them if you if you wanna get through them you can add me on PS4 I'm up to play I can play with you because I basically have nothing to do the next couple of weeks so yeah this is the Paragon Armored it's uh, quicker than the Paragon R are on the track in a straight line and all that but you can't use this one in racing maybe because of those guns you got you know headlights there might be the case but I just still don't get why you can't use this because it's you weapons are disabled in most races so I don't see the problem so that's the Paragon and here you go with the um, little blue car it's the uh, Vapid um, yeah it's the Vapid Caracara 4x4 um, let me just be quick this is not a car worth buying for the off-road class it's way off the pace in the sports cars class even in a road race, track race, whatever, the Camacho and the BF400 bike is still the two to buy. I just bought it because I liked how it looked. So that's it. That's it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. But if you want to stick around a little longer, just hear me talk for a little minute. If that was it for you, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, have a great day, please leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, say me what you think about the video, was it something I forgot to mention. Um, yeah, by the way, the Easy Sport is a really quick car around the track, it struggles in the top speed, that's just the last thing I want to say to you. See you later.
<clears throat> for you who wants to stick around a couple of more minutes to hear what I'm saying um, YouTube for a long while now uh, like three months since I was posting video and I have two or one or two years since I was posting videos regularly it's no reason for that it's just because I have been a lazy scumbag so I think I'm gonna pull my head over head out of my ass and start working on YouTube again because this is actually what I like to do so I'm just gonna continue to do it I'm just gonna do what I like to do play GTA 5 or maybe some Zelda because I started playing that again and uh, maybe some horror games and stuff like that so um, that's actually what I wanted to say thank you so much for watching if you made it this far um, please like the video it would help me out so much it just takes you a few seconds but uh, I understand if you're lazy and don't want to do it but anyway, if you're not subscribed, please do so. It should make me happy. And um, you might ask, what do I get in return? I'll tell you. You get more information, you get car testing on YouTube, you get a lot. Can this video hit 5 likes and 2 more subscribers? Thank you so much for watching, see you guys in the next video, have a nice day and fucking bike!